Hello, hello, hello. I'm right here. <laughs> Today I'm going to teach you how to make uh, Ghana sugar chips or Nigeria chin chin. This is the sugar type. The next, next time I'll show you the onion ones, okay? This is five cups of all purpose flour, butter, the ingredients you need, okay? Baking powder, baking soda. I have four large eggs. That's sugar, nutmeg, milk, vanilla, and salt. This is the basic ingredient you need. Now, you have to mix the wet ingredients together, then you mix the dry ingredients together, then you put everything together. So, I'm going to beat my eggs. So, I just poach my eggs. And I'm going to use one tablespoon of vanilla. Just a vanilla. pure, this is pure vanilla, so I'm just going to use one tablespoon of it. Beat it together. into the bowl I'm going to use this is one tablespoon teaspoon sorry one teaspoon of baking soda the same amount one teaspoon of baking powder I'm going to use one tablespoon of salt I'm going to use one tablespoon of nutmeg. Okay. Um, it requires for one cup of sugar, but I'm just I'm not a big fan of too sweet, so I'm just gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. Now you have to mix all the dry ingredients together before we add our butter. I got my dry ingredient mix, so I'm going to add about five tablespoons because I have five cups of butter. That's two. That's three. That's four. And that's five. Okay. I'm going to mix it by my hand. My hand is washed, okay, nice and washed. So let me mix the butter together and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I got the butter mixed. As you can tell, it's nice and mixed. So I'm going to add my eggs and mix it as well. And I'll add just a little bit of milk to mix it together. And let's see how we get. If it is too hard, I'm gonna add the rest of the milk. And this is one cup of milk, okay? And it also depends on how you want it. So let me mix it together. This is how it looks. So I'm going to add the rest of my milk into it. So that will be nice and soft for me to mix it. So basically, I use one cup of milk aside the... Um, don't use regular water if you want it to be crunchy. People use regular water because they, they want it soft. Okay, but for me, I like mine crunchy. It can stay outside for sometimes two weeks. Yeah, that's how strong it can stay if it is crunchy. But when it's soft, it gives out very fast. So let me finish mixing up the dough. So this is how the dough looks so far. Yeah, this is how it looks. And then what I'm going to do, you need to put it into fridge to let it chill, okay? Um, let me rinse my hands really quick on the sink and I'll be right back to um, cover it up and put it in the fridge. Stay tuned. I just rinsed my hands nice and clean. So the next procedure is you're going to keep uh, plastic wrap 
or you can keep a foil on it, but I think plastic wrap is okay. Just do that and keep it in the fridge. Allow it to chill for um, an hour or two hours before you make it. You can even, if your fridge is very cold, you can, I mean, 30, 30 minutes is okay, okay, or half an hour is okay. But I'm gonna leave mine for maybe an hour before we fly. So stay tuned, you're still watching Frema Shows. I'll bring it out when it's nice and chill and we work on it. Thank you. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Okay. Our dough is nice and chill. Wow. I like it. So I'm going to put a little bit of flour on the floor, which is nice and clean. And I'm going to scoop some. And we are going to start frying it. It make your hands a little bit messy, but don't worry. You can't be in the kitchen without getting dirty. It's part of it. <laughs> so this is um, chips, the sweet one, but I add really, I think two tablespoons of sugar in it because I don't want it to be too sweet. Okay. All right. So it depends on how you want it though. If you want it to be too light, very light, you can roll it as much as you want. But I don't want mine to see the oil is nice and warm and get in there. All right. So you're going to make a line. And it also depends on how, I'm going to make this one the cube ones, okay? Then we'll make the, the, the long ones as well. All right. Let's wait for my oil to warm up a little bit, then we'll cut them into it. Once I'm waiting for my oil to warm up, I'm gonna start cutting them. Like I said, you can cut them in any cube sizes of your choice. You can have a long, and I will just I'll do some. I'll show you how to do it as well. You just have to make it more tiny bit. Our oil is nice and warm, and this is how our cube looks. So I'm going to scoop it right here, and you're just going to dump it into the flour. Like I said, it depends on how soft or how you want it. Okay, you can have it here and just put it in as well. It gets sticky, so if you if you don't know how to, I mean, if, if it is the first time trying it, trying to stay away from the oil, okay, and it pops up. This is the reason why I'm finding a big saucepan. Don't find in a flying pan, please. You end up burning your home or causing fire. Okay, let's leave it to fry until it turns golden brown. See how it looks now. It's getting to golden brown, but I want it to be really, really brown. So let's keep on frying it. When it's in golden brown, that is where you know it's ready. So let's scoop the first one up. This is how it look. That's your, it's nice and crunchy. Like I said, I like mine to be nice and crunchy. And I'm going to show you the other, the long ones as well. You don't need to do any processing. You just have to cut it according to the way you want it. Okay, did I get all of them out? Okay. Now, for the long ones, this is how tiny you have to cut them, okay? So we are just going to put everything in. <laughs> I just love to cook. Like I always tell you, I'm not a professional cook though. I just love to cook. Okay. <laughs> it, it looks like fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's the fun of it when you love to cook. 
They make fun of everything you make. <laughs> now let's see how it looks. Okay. Allow it to fly and get crunchy. All right, let's see how the long one looks. It's nice and ready. As I said, you can cut it or you can stir it into any your choice of tips. All right. So this is how it looks. I'm going to work on the rest of the dough. Um, I do want to thank you for watching. My name is still Remain Freeman Shows. I remember, I'm not a professional cook. I just love to cook for my family. So this is how the long ones look. But let me pause it and put it in a plate. Drain the oil a little bit. Alright, so these are the long ones and the, the cute ones look. It's nice and crunchy. And that's how I want my and you, you can also do it as well. I do want to thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. My name is Jeremy Freeman Shoes and it's bye-bye for me.